Hey guys, Megan here from the blog NinaScaMade.com and Ninaska Homestead and today I am here with my sleepy helper Hazel and we are getting ready to make some really really delicious chicken pot pies. Now my middle son Sam turned 10 this weekend and his favorite food is chicken pot pie. So because we were busy all weekend having parties and having people over, I didn't make it for him but I'm going to fix that and make it for him tonight. So I'm going to teach you how to make a gluten free pie crust but listen. There is no shame in taking a hack. So if making a pie crust isn't your thing, or if maybe you just want to rush this, buy one. <laughs> it is completely fine. And store-bought pie crust tastes delicious, so skip that part of this if you don't wanna make your own pie crust at home. The things that you're gonna need are chicken. You can do chicken thighs off the bone. You can do chicken breasts. You can buy a deli chicken and pick the meat off of it. I have done all of these things. They all work beautifully. Um, you'll also want whatever vegetables you like. I'm a family of five, so I'm probably going to have one medium yellow onion, uh, three peeled and chopped potatoes. I'll either do russet or Yukon gold, depending on what I have in the, in the pantry. Um, I'm also going to put in some green beans and some chopped carrots and corn. I am using basically chicken soup. <laughs> we, I'm going to cook all of those vegetables and the chicken all day long in the crock pot in a little bit of chicken stock. And then when it comes time to make the pot pie, I'm going to thicken it with tapioca starch. You can totally use corn starch, whatever you like to use. I kind of like the, the tapioca starch better personally. Um, I'm also going to add some heavy whipping cream to it just to give it a little bit more of a, a richer texture. And then I'm going to put the crust on it and bake it. So it couldn't be easier and it's basically hands off and especially if you use my pie crust hack and just buy a pie crust. So let's get started. I'm gonna put Sleepy here down and we'll make some supper. To make the gluten-free pie crust, you'll need four tablespoons of butter, three ounces of cream cheese, one and one fourth cup of almond flour, one half cup of tapioca flour, one fourth cup of coconut flour, two egg whites, and a teaspoon of fine sea salt. I mixed everything in my food processor, but you could also use a pastry cutter to make the dough. Go ahead and pop it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before you're ready to roll it out. Now we're gonna make the filling. To make the pot pie filling, you'll need three potatoes chopped and peeled, four diced carrots, one fourth a cup of butter, a medium yellow onion, minced garlic to taste, three cups of bone broth, four tablespoons of tapioca starch, any seasonings that you like. I use dried parsley, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, and salt, but you can use any combination that sounds good to you. And then we're gonna add in one bag of frozen mixed vegetables or frozen peas, whichever you like, and then four cups of chicken and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You can either cook this in a stock pot on top of the oven or in a crock pot all day or even a pressure cooker or instapot, whichever you prefer. I'm doing mine in a Dutch oven on top of my oven and I am adding all of the vegetables, sauteing the onions until translucent, lightly browning the potatoes and the carrots, and then I'm adding in my heavy cream and my stock. I'm giving it all a good mix and then I'm going to cook it until all of the vegetables are tender. Now I'm assembling my pies. It's just as easy as adding the filling to a pie dish and adding the crust. Now I'm going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Cook and enjoy. Remember to save, share, and subscribe for more simple recipes.